the Middlesex Polytechnic. The rock band Sham 69, led by Jimmy Percy, are leaving their dressing room to face their audience once again. The band's fans are mainly working class kids. They call themselves the Sham Army and have a reputation for causing trouble at concerts. Despite this, lead singer Jimmy Percy is determined to carry on and to keep in touch with this army of fans. Sham's latest album attempts to portray the frustrations that face the kids who follow the band. And Arena This Week recreates scenes from that album and follows the story of one Sham concert which threatened to explode. all it's about, isn't it? As long as you're happy and I'm happy, that's the most important thing. Because when you're happy and I'm not happy, we part company, don't we? There's a, there's a rumour going around London, right? Uh, well, Wersham and that, that. You're breaking up. Is this true? Wersham? Yeah, around Wersham Walton. It was a, a rumour once that we was breaking up. But that, that was only because, like, I, know, it was, I was going through a lot of stress. Like, you saw, like, polystyrene on the programme the other day, right? It's because, you see, one day, when, you, when you're a nobody and you're working in a Wimpy bar, right, and you've got nothing, and then a year and a half later, you've had three hit singles, and everybody wants to talk to you and everybody wants to know you, it's a lot of strain, a lot of stress. It's hard to come through it, but sometimes you come through it and sometimes you don't come through it, right? Well, at the moment, I'm coming through it. I'm Jimmy Percy. This is Grant Fleming. This is about a story that means a lot to me and probably a lot to him because the story's about him, it's about Joe Public, about anybody. That kid's late again. Every day. I'll put the alarm on. I'll put the alarm on for seven I'll, o'clock. I'm trying to have a bit of breakfast and go to work. Seven o'clock. I'll pass seven yeah, o'clock. Right. Still. Oh, shit. Well, I've had enough of this. Every bleeding morning, you're starving. It's all you're fit for, sitting there reading. I've got to work, done all I've got to work, done all I've got to let the kids go work. Well, get him out there. Oh, come on, Trace, let's come in, come on, let's have a wash, please, I'm over work. Well, you should try getting up in the morning, you're just a lazy bastard, didn't you? Oh, come on, please, I'm late. Look, go away. I'm oh, just looking at it. It's down to me, isn't it? But I've got no control, you're not to yourself. Turn me to me, take up. Yeah, I'm late, 
well, three quarters of the kids in this country go through that type of, you know, situation. In, in the sense that they're all going, I don't know what I am, I don't know what I want to be, but whatever I want to be, leave me alone and let me do it. I'm sick and tired of this kind of It's the same every day. I've got my mum nagging, my boss is nagging. Why is they for work? I don't really care. I'm still have a laugh anyway. They're all moving down the same conveyor belt. They're all being subjected to, you do this, son. You come from there, son, so you have to do that. Like, if you come from a tower block in the East End, you are subject to either working at the docks or so and so and so. No, you mustn't go out now. You mustn't leave London and, and be someone else because that's wrong. You're not, you're not born to do that. No matter what we do and what we say in life, there's someone walking along going, good boy, good boy, like, you know. But at least we're trying. And that's the most important thing. It's like running a race, isn't it? I don't want to go to work, but I've got to get my pay. The weekend's getting nearer. I'm waiting for the day when I can get my own day. Anyway, who gives a damn? I'm doing the best. Right, mate, hold it. What bloody excuse have you got tomorrow? I'm oh, sorry, I'm like, your alarm clock went off. Like, your alarm clock didn't go off. All your alarm clock, nothing else on your alarm clock. Some this is happening. I'm still set it properly. Listen, your man won't come in and do the work. Look, there's 10,000 of them to be done, and you're not a problem to sit oh, away from so none. Sorry. It's sorry, it's no good. It's sorry, mum's fault, not mine. It's not your mum's fault. It's not her fault, it's your fault. You're it's too damn lazy, you should get out of the bed and be here on I time. I said I'm sorry, I mean, you're not I'm sorry. Right. Sorry's no good. The best thing you can do is just get your things and go, right? I won't have it any longer. I'm sitting here every other Thanks day of the week watching you. Go, it's a handy day. Shit, go and get your car. Well, it's up to you. Take what you like. Oh, I come. Is it almost wrong? You it's just a matter. Go and get your car. You can Shit, argue tomorrow. All right. Listen, it's just a matter. Off you go. Go on, run. Go on, go on, go on, go on.
The top new kids are innocent, okay? <laughs> On a Saturday night, he wants to be different. That's why he works in a factory from eight to five for Saturday night, because it's it's different than going plink plonk plink plonk in a factory all day long. Everybody's wrong. Everybody's right. Someone must be wrong when someone else is right. Everybody's wrong. Everybody's right. You tell me that I'm wrong, then you tell me that I'm right. I'm the baby that kept on crying, and his dad said, leave him alone. I'm the kid with a stick that wants to grow up quick. I'm a jumper on the wrong way with the label sticking out. I've been hung up to dry, but the dirt just won't come out. Most of these kids, you can say, oh, the label's sticking out. I know exactly where he come from, what he's about. What... And, that's, and that's, that's you, isn't it? I mean, Definitely, that, yeah. That is really, you're saying you. I mean, there's no bullshit with you. No, there's no bullshit at all. Watch. There's no, there's no bullshit in, our, in, 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 in kids out there either. And there is no bullshit in them. But what, what happens is, because no one has trusted them, therefore, why should, it, why should they trust anybody else? Two touches. Okay. Two touches. Okay. Two touches. 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 Second, he's going to get cut in. Earn a living? Yeah, no doubt. Where are you going to live then? Oh, my God, the book is that way. Try and win some money. I'm going to waste your bloody time in there. Chance I might win some money. There's no chance there. Better just hang about. Mm. I'll give you a go. Try and win some. You have no idea. Right, 
cut on this Straight away. Well, Mrs. Maggie Baxley, I keep hearing on the radio saying these things time after time and time after time again. What she wants to do now is make more bull stalls and more prisons to put people in that have been, you know, violent and, uh, you know, out of order, right? Now, the kids are never trusted. The people are never trusted. That's why there is robberies and violence and muggings and fighting and God knows what else. Because if they haven't got nowhere to go, and now where to be, then they're gonna do it even more. It's gonna be a boost of breakouts! She was determined and said, I'm going to build more youth clubs, more training centres, more sports grounds, more things for people, the kids to do. Then they say, hang about, someone trusts us for a change. Someone's given us something for a change. And they're going, is it worth it going around and smashing all these places up? I mean, she's trusting me, so why shouldn't I turn around and trust her? But when she says, I'm going to build more prisons and more balls, still they're going to turn around and say, she don't trust us, so we don't trust her. So we're going to go carry on. Oh, it's great working yeah, out yeah. one of their gigs. It's something different. Is you, you really get in the music, you have a good laugh. There's always someone there who wants to spoil it, really. Because you say, we're not skinheads, are we, really? You know, we, we just go along there, dress how we want to dress. But you always get someone down there that thinks they're a bit harder than you, bigger than you. And I want to show them different. <laughs> some yeah. people go with punch-ups, some people go to see the group. Yeah, a lot of people won't go just to see the group, like, because of the trouble starting there. You've got the image of trouble, haven't they? Yeah, a lot of people stay away because they think, oh, Shane, that's where you get all the rowdies and skins. Well, they do. <laughs> and <laughs> and they, don't, they don't go. They think, oh, I ain't going there. I'll get 
get best. And it does that. I mean, people just go there just to see the music, and the next thing you know, somebody's best them. Someone comes up to you and says something, you don't just sit there and ignore it, do you? You've got to do something about it, I think, anyway. Yeah, you are. Well, you well, 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 you out. You've you got to do something about it. If you're not, you look a bit stupid, yeah, don't you? Yeah, no, I didn't even worry with your back out or you don't, do you? It's all in the music, really. The balls still break out. It attracts the sort of people that have been in Ballstool, probably, and all that. None of you have been in Ballstool? No. 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 Does anybody live in a sort of tower block or anything like that? No, it's tip as tweed, that's pretty good. Don't have to live in a tower block to go to Ballstool. <laughs> 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 Alright, this next number is about kids like me and you, you know what I mean? Hey. Angels with dirty faces. Hey. We are the people that you don't want to know. We are the people that you want to wrap up in a cardboard box and say, right, you go over there. We are the people that you want to lift the carpet up and sweep that under the carpet and leave that there. The people that put in the dustbin. They don't want to know people that, that work in factories, that, that just go on a dole, that end up drinking meths or so and so. <laughs> and have great big barriers holding them back, like with machine gun turrets, like, you know, and certs lights and wardens standing about. I mean, when it's, that's 1984, you know, if you want 1984, it's completely up to you. And you can go out there and sing them songs, but how can you sing them songs now? Because you've already meant, said, I'm a star, you're down there. Hey, you trying to say to everybody, look, listen, I'm doing it for you. And they're saying, ah, oh, but so-and-so said that, and so-and-so said that. But they was bullshitting, they was lying. And so you're getting, you're getting more and more frustrated because you're trying to say to them, but listen, look, look, look. And the only way that you can prove to them you were doing it is either jacking it in. But if you jack it in and someone turns on and says, you traitor.
They are angels, with, but they do what they want to do. And I'm going to say that to everybody that's listening out there, whether they're a skinner or whatever, that it is up to you what you want to be. No one can tell you and decide for you. It's either you want to listen to someone or you don't want to listen to someone. So either be an angel with a dirty face or be yourself. It's completely up to you. I tell you what, I tell you what we do, right? I tell you what. Now I tell you what. Me and you, me and you, are go down a pub. Me and you, are go down a pub. All right. Tell you what. Me and the skeezer here going down a pub. His name's Harry, right? Harry likes a jar. Who is it? Joey. Oh, come in. Hello. Uh, there's no one said I told I was doing a bit of stuff in the phone. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, How'd you go? I blew me money. All of it? Yeah. Well, I've got a fiver left. So what are you going to do now? Oh, I thought perhaps we'd go down the pub and get fish. No, I, I don't want to go down there. I'm coming out. I've got nothing else left. I might as well do my last fiver. I'll go and my tea. I don't worry about your tea. Right, then let me tie these books up and I'll come. Right, then we'll hurry up now. We're going down the pub. Yeah, I've been Nice, do you like it? Huh? Yeah, you're a bit of a shrimp, right? It's London. Oh, yeah, mate. Have you know where staying, mate? Yeah, sort of, really. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What are you doing, Abby? Oh, shit. What's this? Just talking to me, I feel. What's this? Who's baby? What's the matter, mate? It's my bird, mate, alright? Just keep out of here. I'll leave my life. Don't talk to him. Look, you should have phoned me up. You told me you was baby. What's the matter, mate? I'll talk to the girl. Look, mate, I would keep out of here if I was you. I would keep out of here if I was you. So why don't you call me? I just decided to come out of this bed. I'm not just like that. You told me you was babysitting tonight. Well, I was, but I mean, at least. Who's this? Shut up, mate. Shut up, mate. It's my bird. It's my girlfriend, alright? Just shut up. Who's girlfriend? 
Oh, really? well, they leave off, oh, shut up. I've been going out of work for about six months, all right? I come out, so I talked to the girl, right? She didn't say she was with no one. If I was you, son, I'd sit down. I'm well, sorry, you're with me, girlfriend. Are you with him? Oh, leave him alone. He's only talking. Are you with him? Are you no, with I'm him, not with him. No, I'm not with him. Well, look, she's a shame with you, so why don't you shoot off? I'll tell you, if there's any shoot, not with them, mate, you better go with now, all right? Oh, come on. Let's you can do that, pal. You can do that, pal. I'll just shut up, son. Shut up. Listen, look, I'll shut up, son. He's having a gut in for talking to me. It's him again. How many times have I told you to leave her alone? I'd leave it off, right? I don't want you to have nothing to do with her. You sit down, mate. Why don't you just shoot off? Look, I'm talking to her. I'm not talking to you. She don't want to be with you. She said she don't want to be with you. And that's it, right? So why don't you move away? Look, let's leave her alone. Let's pick it up. Pick it up, right? They don't want to listen to the music. They don't want to listen to the lyrics. Why should they? Nobody else has trusted them before. Nobody else has done anything for them before. So who's this bullshit? Who's this, who's this other bullshit that's coming along saying, Oi, listen to me. Or, you know, don't do that. There's no need to do that. Oh, sod off. I ain't taking any notice of you. You're like all the rest. That's why they do it. Because they don't trust anybody. Why should they trust anybody? No one's ever trusted them before. So they do enjoy having a rap. They do enjoy having a fight. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know what to do now. What can I do? I mean, I'll do it for you. If you trust me, I would have trusted you. I can I go out there and do all this for the time? I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I keep going out there, giving my life to people, but they're not willing to give their lives to me. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, you put your hand out to shake hands with someone. And it's, if they want to, if they, yeah, well, if they want to shake your hand, they shake your hand. But if they don't, they don't. Oh, no, look, come on. He's upset. And let's play the game. If we play the game, he'll come back and let's have a good time. And don't ruin it. So you not play the game with Jimmy in 769. Can I go? I mean, I preach peace. I go on there. I do my best. And that's all I can do is do my best. Because I'm a human being, you know? And if you jack it in, they say you've taken the money and run. So if any out people out there can decide what I should do, I would be quite willing to listen. Right now, look, quiet them down, OK? Right. They told me not to come back out here. Right. They said, don't walk back out there, because it ain't right. I tell you, I'll go anywhere, anytime, and I'll do it for you. And you, you laugh, anybody else laughs, you send your letters in to public image and all the other shit, but I will always be here, and I will always say what I think. And I never shit out of nothing, so we're going through with it. No gear on. It's the greatest! So what, what do you do? Do you jack it in? Do I jack it in now? Do I feel that, I, that they've destroyed me and taken everything away that, that was me two years ago? No, they bloody don't. Right. See, I could give two shits. I don't. If the kids, they know the words. Yeah. <laughs>
See everybody around you and you say to yourself, look, I write these songs because I believe in these songs. When I wrote Kids United and everything else, I believed in them. And so if you don't see them full, you know, the fulfillment of them coming true, it's very frustrating for you. He said, come down the studios and do a bit like vocal backups on Kids United single. So I thought it's great, you know, I went down there and sang on the single. And um, when the single got released, I went up to the West End, Polydor Studios and that, and uh, I see Jimmy in that, and they had loads of mail and all things like that, uh, fan mail, and I said, well, I'll do that, you know, work for you and that and go and tour with you. And I said, yeah, and, and Jimmy offered me a job and I was really pleased. And, you know, great thing to ever happened to me, really. Okay.